Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan in this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations where we are going to solve one very tricky quartic equation method basically. So that method is very very important using quadratic substitution you can solve quartic equation. So let's get started directly come to the point C6x cube that is the term which we will target. Step number one first target the cubic term so that that is 6x cube now take half of that half of 6x cube is 3x cube step number 2 divide by the square which is available there the number which is square is written as a leading term leading term so which number is square is there it is x square whole square so number is x square. So divide this one by x square. So that will give us 3x. Done. Now we have to have, means we have to consider the square of this number. So there must be 9x square over there. If it is there or you are able to manage 9x square, then that problem will be done using this method. Straight away you can you can give the name using remainder theorem or completing the square method. It may be anything. But the fact is, it is the fundamental of remainder theorem. Okay. So we can write this equation, our equation, given equation as, see how it is. x square whole square plus 6 we can write like this 2 times 2ab. So x square times 3x and see 10 we can think about 9x square plus x square why I have written in terms of 9x square because 9x square is coming out okay let me let me repeat one more time 6x cube first consider the half of cube whatever the number is term is so half is 3x cube done then you have to divide this by the number which is square is the leading term. So that number is x square. You will divide this by x square. So we are getting 3x. This square is needed. This number 3x square is needed. Means if you are able to find out or you can manage to get 9x square in the equation, problem is done using this one. Okay. So 2x square 3x. Let me complete this one. And 9x square, I am writing 3x whole square. What is left? x square. And right hand side is unchanged. 20 minus 3x. Now you can see, what is this written? So that is a square. Let me write here. You can see a square plus 2ab plus b square. The first three terms. Okay. So I will write a plus b whole square. That's it x square plus 3x whole square. Done. Remaining term as it is. x square is equal to 20 minus 3x. You can see x square plus 3x. Let us take minus 3x. All the terms towards left. x square plus 3x whole square plus x square plus 3x minus 20 equal to 0. Now obvious substitution is visible. I will consider let x square plus 3x equal to t. Simple. So if I will consider t then it will become t square plus t minus 20 equal to 0. And remember our substitution we will put back once we will calculate the value of t. Okay. Let's solve. So I will write t square plus t minus 20 equal to 0 and our substitution is t is equal to x square plus 3x. Done. Let's apply quadratic formula quickly. t is equal to minus b minus 1 plus minus square root b square 1 minus 4ac plus 8t divided by 2a so 2 minus 1 plus minus root 81 we can write directly 9 
minus 1 plus minus 9 over 2. Once I will take plus sign in between, then it will become 9 minus 1, 8 over 2, 4. Minus sign in between, minus 10 over 2, minus 5. So there are two t values, t is equal to 4 and t is equal to minus 5. What was our t substitution? Let's put back that value. So let me write t equal to x square plus 3x equal to 4. So one equation is x square plus 3x minus 4 equal to 0. This is one equation we will solve. And second equation t equal to x square plus 3x equal to negative 5 or x square plus 3x plus 5 equal to 0. Let's solve both the equations for four solutions because equation is quartic. Let me write here x square plus 3x minus 4 equal to 0. Quadratic formula x is equal to minus b minus 3 plus minus square root b square 9 minus 4ac plus 16 over 2a 2 minus 3 plus minus square root 25 over 2 minus 3 plus minus 5 over 2 minus 3 plus 5 2 2 over 2 1 minus 3 minus 5 minus 8 over 2 minus 4. So there are two real solutions clearly visible from first quadratic. Now let's consider second quadratic x square plus 3x plus 5 equal to 0. If I will solve again using quadratic formula then x will become minus b minus 3 plus minus square root b square 9 minus 4ac 20 over 2a 2 minus 3 plus minus it will come out square root negative 11. So let me write i outside square root of 11. So there are two complex solutions also. Minus 3 plus minus i times root 11 over 2. If you want to verify values, we can verify also. So let's verify. I will verify 1. So there are four solutions. Two are real are imaginary. I am verifying verification 1 and you will verify minus 4 by your own. Complex we won't verify. Okay. Let me write x is equal to 1. So 1 means I will write 1 power 4 plus 6 times 1 power 3 plus 10 times 1 is square equal to 20 minus 3 times 1 so 3. So 1 plus 6 plus 10, 17 it is, right hand side is also 17. So 17 equal to 17, that means this value is verified. If you want to check second value also, you can check for negative 4 power 4, verbally we can talk about, that would be 256. 6 times negative 4 power 3, that value will be minus 384 plus 10 times 4 is square, so 160 positive okay so left side will come out equal to right hand side you will put you will get the answer okay i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck